A desk is so much more than a place to work. It's a space that defines who a person is. Their work, their personality, their habits, it speaks volumes about a person's character. Today, I want to introduce you to my new creative work from home space. Since I've been working from home so much nowadays, it was a no brainer for me to switch my setup around, replacing pretty much everything in the process. I needed something clean, something modern, something that defines who I am in 2020. And this is the first version of what I came up with. The idea of transitioning my setup into something more modern came about when I got the idea to finally get a standing desk. This is something that I've always wanted, but it never made sense to get one until now. The desk I'm using is the Uplift V2 Commercial. As I mentioned, it was a no brainer for me to switch my setup around and this desk made the switch totally worth it. The version I got spans 60 by 30 inches and has a gorgeous walnut wood finish to it. It's big, but it's also the perfect size to keep things nice, spacious, and organized. What I love the most is my newfound flexibility to bring the desk up and down at the press of a button. There are countless studies out there that highlight the benefits of standing desks, and having been with the V2 for a few weeks now, I definitely find myself to be much more productive too. Being on my feet, or balance board as I should say, has led me to feel more motivated to accomplish and complete my work. It's a little thing, but the little things do add up. Plus, there's no denying that working on a balance board is incredibly fun. You can get in some exercise while being productive, and that's pretty sweet. For the main display on my desk, I'm using the Dell U2770Q USB-C 4K monitor. Not only does this display produce a razor sharp color accurate image, but it also looks stunning with minimal bezel and an edge to edge display. It also acts as a USB hub and provides up to 90 watts of power over the USB-C port, so it's an awesome one and done cable solution for my MacBook Pro. I perched this display on top of a Grobe made monitor stand, which is a handmade slab of wood that not only matches the walnut finish on my desk, but also raises the monitor up a bit, allowing me to store things beneath it, like Funko Eevee, an alarm clock, my love box from Spiderwebs, and my camera battery charger, which you guys can't really see because it's hidden in the back, but it is easily accessible. On top of the 2720Q, I have the BenQ Screen Bar Plus. The beauty of the Screen Bar Plus is its discreetness. It keeps your lighting source out of the way and your workspace clean. There's a reason why the Screen Bar Plus always makes the cut in my creative setups. It's just that good. The keyboard and mouse combo that I use are the Logitech MX Keys and MX Master 3. This is easily my new favorite keyboard and mouse combo for 2020. Typing on the keyboard is great, navigating around with the mouse is awesome, and just across the board, the user experience is excellent. They also have the ability to pair with up to three devices, so there's a lot of versatility with this keyboard and mouse. I placed these guys on top of a Grobe made wool desk pad and a larger Galloway leather pad underneath to protect the surface of the desk from marks and scratches. For added decoration, I added the obligatory fake plant as well as a water fountain that I got for 70% off at Michael's a few days back. It was only 10 bucks, so I was like, why not? It definitely adds a calming vibe to the space and it actually kind of feels like I'm connected with nature while I'm getting work done. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this is very much the first version of my setup, but I'm extremely happy with how things are coming out. It's got that very clean, peaceful look that I was striving to achieve. Knowing myself, things will continue to evolve in some way, shape, or form, but that's life. Things always change. If you guys have any feedback or suggestions for my setup, let me know in the comments box down below. Also, if you want to share your setup and send me some ideas, tweet me a photo or slide in my DMs. I'd love to see what you're doing. So guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.